Hi guys, it's Amy. Today I'm going to show you how to hit a punch shot into a headwind. So when you're hitting into a headwind, obviously you, you want to keep the ball somewhat low so the wind doesn't touch the ball and you know make it balloon or go sideways. But more important than that, the main key you need to understand is we're, we have to take spin off the golf ball. Remember the saying, wind breezy, swing easy, right? So if there's any kind of excessive backspin or side spin on the golf ball, let's just say you hit that when there is no headwind, It'll maybe turn five yards left or right, but into a headwind, the wind's gonna magnify the spin and it's going to make it turn about 15 to 20 yards left or right. So we really want to emphasize on taking spin off of the golf ball. Okay, that's our main goal here. All right, so a couple basic fundamentals for punch shots into the wind would be narrow stance. Narrow stance, you're gonna have open stance, maybe three to five degrees left, and you're going to have about 55 to 60% in the left foot. You're gonna hit it as if you're hitting like a pitching wedge shot. Um, so you're gonna maintain that 60% in the backswing. That way you can really focus on controlling that spin on the golf ball rather than try and maximize your power and power through and not be able to focus on the spin of the golf ball. All right, and also because we're swinging easy in the breezy condition, we are only using 90% of our power, not 100. We're not swinging out of our shoes. So we're going to make sure you don't try and power through and forget the main goal of this shot. We're going to make sure you don't transfer your weight, keeping it here, focusing on holding it off. The hold off is going to help with the lowness of the trajectory and getting rid of any unnecessary spin on the golf ball. Okay, so let's just go in and try that. Okay, so slightly open, narrow stance, weight on the left, ball position actually before we hit. Ball position, I want it either in the middle or half a ball left. When I say this, a lot of my students get puzzled. They're like, we have to keep it low. Why do you want the ball up in the stance instead of back? The only thing here, if we put the ball back in the stance, I would do this if I'm under the trees, when keeping the ball low is the main point, but here, keeping the ball low isn't the main point. When you do this, when the ball is back and you use your body properly, there's higher chances of the face going in open, whereas, cause you don't have that enough time to go release the face. So the club face goes in opened a lot and creates that side spin on the golf ball that we don't want. Or a lot of the times, because people aren't used to this, they seem to rock back, putting a lot of backspin slide spin on the golf ball. We want to eliminate any of those tiny mistakes. So we're going to go ahead and put the ball either in the middle or slightly left, cause the weight's on the left. And we're going to drive our body through nice and easy and really focus on keeping the face square by holding it off. All right, let's hit one first and then I'll explain about the hold off. Weight left in the backswing. You see how easy I hit that and I swung about three quarters of the swing because I'm trying to really not put any extra jerky movements. I don't want any back or side spin on the ball. And plus, because I'm doing this punch shot weight on the left with small swing, I would normally have to take an extra club, but into the wind, I would take two to three extra clubs because there's no weight transfer, right? Less power. Okay, the hold off drill. I have a fantastic drill for you guys on that one. Okay, this is my favorite hold off drill. I have a two by four piece of wood and I'm going to lay that down. And you're going to set up like you're gonna hit it, hit a golf ball. And from here, you're going to make sure you push that face to the target this way as opposed to releasing the toe. That's a hold off. So when you hold off, you push, hands are ahead of the club head instead of release that way and the face is perpendicular to the target. So let's try it again. We're pushing through. When you do this, you're going to notice there's a lot of pressure in your left thigh and your right oblique. You're stabilizing and you're pushing with this. And then you're going to have extra pressure in your forearms and your grip, right? So we're gonna do a little chip shots doing the hold off movement. Let's get used to that. So we're just gonna go 
boom, parallel to the ground, hold off, okay? We're gonna push the ball. We're just really trying to learn to hold that face open so it's traveling straighter to the target which will help the ball fly low and with less side and back spin. So here's the quiz. I told you that you're gonna have tension in your left thigh and your right oblique, that's in the body. And then when you push through, cause you're holding it off, you gotta have a lot of tension in your grip and your forearm. My question here is which one should be stronger? So if you follow, if you've seen a lot of my lessons, you probably know the correct answer. It's supposed to be your body. Your body is supposed to be stronger. Even if your hands are doing the extra work, Ratio-wise, your body always has to be working harder. So if you have more tension in your forearms and hands as opposed to your body, then you could hit it sideways because your body's moving around, right? Loosey-goosey stuff. But if your body is stronger, you're holding tight, trying to hold off, but your body is working harder than the arms. I was exaggerating, but you understand the concept, right? We always want our body pressure to be a lot stronger than your arms. So when you're hitting into the winds, I want you to remember that you need to swing easier to take off any extra spin on the golf ball. So that way the, the wind does not affect the ball as much and you can just hit through the wind, that'll be most ideal. So remember, narrow stance, weight on the left, slightly open, three quarter swing with the ball position either middle or slightly left. That way you eliminate any side spin on the golf ball. Remember that two by four push for the hold off and you're going to hit it nice and easy, 90% power. I hope you're able to follow along. If you have any questions, please come to Ask Amy section and ask any questions you have. And I'll see you guys in the next lesson.